is Jen and welcome back to my channel. So it's the first week on the roll with my two videos a week uploading schedule. I'm so excited. I also have Scarlett over here joining us today because she hasn't said hi to you guys for a long time. She has gone a bit plump and big. I thought what better way for her to say hi to you guys again than in this video about cruelty-free K-beauty makeup and skincare brands. So anyone who's new, Scarlett is an eclectus bird. She's a female and she's about three years old at the moment. She really likes to sit on the arm actually. She hardly ever sits on the shoulder and she's actually really talkative not a really good talker but when she's in the middle of attention she's really quiet but when I put her back on a perch she'll scream and talk in the background with us <laughs> so we'll say bye to Scarlett now say bye so I have a ton of KBD brands to show you guys. It's always good to support brands who try to do the right thing morally and ethically, even if it makes their products harder to manufacture or less volume or more expensive, etc. I personally really respect that because I'm also a brand owner myself. Personally, in my humble opinion, I think it's because of globalization in the past two years that KBD has become really official and good with these things. And I just want to thank YesStyle, who's actually put this information together, contacting the brands and figuring out whether they are cruelty free or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to the brands. Some of them I would be really familiar with. Some of them I think they're new or just sort of up and coming. So I, it's my first impression as well. If you're excited, please give this video a thumbs up before we start and let us begin. Okay, so the first brand that is not only cruelty-free, but 100% vegan, no animal testing, and no ingredients that are from animals is my own brand, Muse Beauty. I did need to share it with you guys because it is a Korean brand, Muse White Edition. Two whole years went into the making of this set, and that might seem like a lot, but actually it's 10 different products. I personally hand drew the design of these brushes, exactly what shape I wanted, what kind of hairs and the colors and the materials and everything and therefore it took so long. It also took a lot longer because I did decide to go cruelty free. And so we had to find the softest synthetic hair that we could. And I have to say, I'm really, really proud of how soft I was able to make it, like the ends. A lot of synthetic hairs are usually just cut into shape after it's put in. But these ones, if you look at the hair ends, they look like natural hairs. You know how natural hairs, they sort of taper out towards the end and therefore it's a lot softer. Even for me, out of all of the synthetic brushes that I have, these are super, super soft. It feels weird to talk about your own brand and that's why I hardly ever show my brushes and talk about them on my channels or on my social media. But I had to put them in here and to be really honest, the quality is really good. They are actually really comparable to even high-end department store brand brushes. If you compare the materials, the make, um, every decision that went into this, we actually went for the quality option even though it would cost us a lot more to make. They are handcrafted in Korea. The names and logos are not inked on but they're hot stamped which means that they last a lot longer. A lot of makeup brushes have aluminium ferrules but we went for brass because it's a lot more durable. Like it won't dent, it'll last for a lot longer. And also FYI, I actually created each of the brushes to be able to fit our smaller Asian features because I personally couldn't find like for example a blending brush that would do the blending for the kind of makeup style that I do which is not like the massive blender that I need um, but just a slight blend because I don't really take my makeup up that high and having said that it doesn't mean that it's only for Asian features or you can't use it if you have large features you can totally do whatever you want with them and multitask with them but actually all of the brushes can be used for so many different things if you're looking for new brushes and you want to try some Korean ones that are precise, soft, multitaskable, fits the features, they're super pretty. I mean, the packaging, you can actually store it in this as well. And of course, the brand is 100% cruelty free and vegan. So something to keep in mind if you're looking for something like that in a Korean makeup brand. So the second brand that is cruelty free is Pyongang Yu. You guys know I have absolutely loved these brand. It's a skincare brand in Korea. It's a set that has the three products of Essence Toner, Moisture Cream and Moisture Serum. Not only is this brand cruelty free, but it's also super gentle. It's developed by a Korean Oriental Herbal Medicine Clinic that's really famous here in Seoul. And they've actually put the ingredients that they use to cleanse and detoxify your body as well and put it into skincare because it's absorbed by the skin and it's like in your bloodstream. They stand for being paraben free and fragrance free, no alcohol, so super mild, super gentle. Pretty much if your skin is in a really bad condition, 
and you just want to put the absolute bare minimum on your skin to just aid it in helping it to recover during that time and keep it calm. This is a brand that I really recommend you to look into and Pyongang Hospital is actually specialized in eczema treatment and skin problems. So if you're just clicking in for the first time, you've never heard me raving on about these. I loved this when my skin was breaking out. It just, my skin really settled after a long period of me constantly getting breakouts. After just using all Pyongang Yu for about three months, three to six months actually, maybe more. Where's my memory gone? <laughs> I don't remember. You guys might remember more if you look back on my videos, but having used this exclusively, it really helped to build up my skin's own health and barrier again. So, Pyongang Yu, Cosarex does not do any animal testing and as you guys know a lot of their products are amazing i actually don't use too many of them as staples in my own routine but i know a ton of you guys do especially the infamous one step cleansing pad they also have a really good range of overnight masks which are not too heavy and don't have too much of artificial fragrance they have a lot of aha vha products as well as good sunscreens chemical and physical. So there's the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sand Cream with SPF 50 plus PA triple plus, which is actually really good too. So yes, it is good to know, but Cosrx is animal testing. <laughs> Yay! Then of course, there's your favorite Hamish. It's not too expensive, but has really good quality products. I fell in love with this brand when um, like no one had heard of it either. And I was just raving on about this cleansing balm and how it's superior, to, in my personal opinion at that time, to the Vanilla Co cleansing balm, which um, had artificial colors and fragrance in it. Whereas this one didn't, and this also has no parabens. So my heart just kind of went for this brand a little more. And I thought that um, at the cheaper price as well, it would be great. So I am really glad that Hamish has found their spotlight. Um, I personally really loved their palettes as well. I still do. They've got a really great glow base. They have a beautiful Bulgarian Rose Mist now as well. Bulgarian Rose Water Mist Serum, which is actually a really, really great mist. It's a serum in a mist form and they've made it from actual Bulgarian roses. They told me that they have like gone through a lot to get that Bulgarian Rose Extract from actual roses. So they've got a range of makeup and skincare products that are mainly alcohol free. And obviously they don't test on animals too. So Hamish. Now this is one that I've known about for many years. It's the Declares brand. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I've talked about this product quite a few times in my video now, the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. It's really good for calming sensitive skin or if you've got troubled skin and you need like a really heavy dosage of moisture but doesn't irritate it. So I love this. It's actually a color blue and it contains Ceramide 3 and Centella Asiatica Extract. It has no strong, strong fragrance to it and it just does a really good job of like kind of spot moisturizing, especially if you live in really dry, harsh environments. They also have a lot of really good toners and things. And they also have an infamous vitamin C serum. So good to know that Declares is also cruelty free. Another K-beauty brand that is animal testing free is Huxley. And I think you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of Huxley products. Um, because it really broke me out. But I did want to mention it because they are popular amongst some people. A lot of you guys do like the product. Everyone's skin reacts differently to different products. But for me personally, my skin has never ever broken out like in white bumps, not actual acne, but clogged pores or something. Like I had white bumps all over my face after using a couple of these products. Sorry to see you guys, but I do need to warn you since it's a review. That has never happened to me from any product before. Plus I just find that the pricing is a little too high and the fragrance is a little bit too strong and a bit artificially for me. So at the time when I was going through a really sensitive skin patch, this kind of did not work for me, but I find that their masks are actually really nice. It doesn't leave a sticky, thick, coated texture, but it actually really absorbs nicely without feeling thick, greasy, kind of annoyed, uh, sensitive or irritated in any way. And the material is really good. And the fragrance in this does not bother me too much. I feel like it's a bit less than in their actual skincare products, like the serums and things like that. It does contain a little bit of fragrance though, so do keep that in mind, and it does have alcohol in it too. So if you are sensitive, you don't like alcohol and fragrance in your products, Huxley, just be a bit careful about it, but if your skin is fine and not that sensitive, then I'm sure that you would love Huxley too. Yes, Huxley is a cruelty-free skincare brand. Now some other classic names, 
April Skin, huge at one time for their cushions that have extremely high coverage and a really dramatic change to the face. They also have a range of other products, not just skincare and makeup, but also like hair treatment, color conditioner kind of things. The April Skin is animal testing free. Now the brand that I've mentioned before in my videos like a couple times is Chikai Chiko. Chikai Chiko. So this is the matte cushion by Chikai Chiko, which is actually a really excellent matte cushion for those who have oily skin. There are not many truly matte cushions out there, but this one is fantastic. It really fixes on place. It's not too thick. It kind of feels like a nice smooth, serum and not too drying as well. I actually really love this matte cushion in the summer when I'm feeling very like heaty, you know. And they have a range of makeup products as well. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing their palette, the One Shot Eye Palette in lovely pink. Cute little packaging like that. And it has really, really pretty colors. There are two shimmers, a metallic and three mattes. And this pink is actually looking really pretty. So this is my first time trying their palette, but the palette looks really cute. Like pastels with not too dark browns for every day. And I've just swatched it, it's not too bad. That pink is pretty. Yep, so Chikai Chiko. I think they're not too expensive either. So Chikai Chiko. Another KBD makeup brand that is cruelty free. I've mentioned them a couple of times in my questions and unboxing videos, but it is Naked Face. Makeup with an N, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're mainly makeup. That's all I have from them. They have these really beautiful lipsticks. They look beautiful and very expensive, but they're not that expensive. So from my memory, the lipsticks actually kind of plump your lips because they have this like peppermint Botox kind of effect and the colors are really pretty matte. So that's their lipsticks. And I actually really liked their cushion as well. You guys know I have hundreds of cushions. So when I say I like a cushion, it's not just because I like every cushion. I'm just showing you guys the ones that I actually like. The ones that I like are usually not too thick. You can't really feel it on your face. It has a really nice uh, smoothing finish with a bit of a luminosity to it because otherwise it just is pretty much like a foundation. So that beats the purpose. But it really sits nicely and it doesn't patch or disappear throughout the day or settle into those pores. You guys know what I'm talking about. So anything that does that, they're not considered good. <laughs> but Makeup Face's Water King Cover Cushion, I remember this one has that really beautiful glass glow effect. So that glass skin look, Koreans also call it guru people, which is like a honey skin look. If you're just looking for looks, this gives you that beautiful Korean celebrity skin look. So Makeup Face is cruelty free. For a little more skincare, there's a brand that I actually haven't mentioned to you guys before, but I have all of their products. They are actually really good. Okay, let me just begin. It is the brand Benton. Benton. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it. Have you guys heard of it? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually really curious. So I've actually tested out their products for a very long time. But before I get into my personal opinion, they do have a range of skincare products that are really good, like the ingredients. Plus, they've got that kind of added Korean bonus of like using snail and bee kind of products. But according to Yes Style, they are cruelty free and don't do animal testing. So. <laughs> I actually do believe them because um, I've heard within the actual KBD industry when I speak with brands and manufacturers that Benton is really ethical and moral. That's why they haven't put any fragrance, alcohol, all that kind of stuff because brands that do that really seem to care about consumers' skin. Otherwise, brands usually add in a bit of alcohol because people like the refreshing feeling that alcohol gives you. So because consumers, us, uh, we're very impressionistic. We like the kind of automatic feeling of something happening to our skin. Oh, that's really refreshing. It feels so good. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for the skin because long-term alcohol actually really strips your skin and damages your barrier. So brands who are forfeiting on that first impression kind of conning you into liking their product are not doing it because they're thinking about your skin safety. Anyway, I don't know how I got there, but Benton actually does have a range of really good skincare products. I like them, but because they haven't put fragrance in it, the smell of their products kind of remind me a bit of a snail or a bee, but I don't know if it's my imagination or a psychological thing. So <laughs> that's just me personally, but they do have great products and they're not too expensive. They're really gentle and good for the skin. I've had a ton of good ingredients. This is a BHA aloe skin toner and it's amazing. So Benton is cruelty free and if you're looking for something really gentle for the skin kind of like Pyongyang Yoo but different you know this is another brand that you can consider another brand that's cruelty free is by Wish Trend I only have one product on hand but I have tried a lot of their products in the past 
Pass, the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. Amore Pacific gave me this as a present when I went to New York last month for KCON, which if you guys haven't seen the vlog of where I got to do a meet and greet and an on-stage skincare demo using some of my favorite cream beauty products, I'll leave that as a link right here. But yes, this is an exfoliating water with um, Mandelic Acid, which works gently on sensitive skin. Yes, so By Wish Trend is also happily Cruelty free, no animal testing. Should I show you guys what this looks like? So you can see the packaging looks like this. I actually haven't tried this out either. So let me just first impression right now. Have you guys tried a lot of By Wish Trend products and what are your thoughts on them? Let me know in the comments below. The first ingredient is water, mandelic acid, butylene glycol, panthenol, and they've got Centella Asiatica extract. They don't have alcohol, they don't have fragrance. To me, this seems like it's actually not bad as a first impression. Seems to be um, a brand that actually took care of the ingredients list quite thoroughly. Not too much of a fragrance. It says that it's for all skin types, removes dead skin cells and smooths the dull and rough skin. So actually, I'm gonna try this out. Gonna add this to my skincare table. Glad that I opened this here. But Wish Trend is cruelty free. I'll update you guys on how I fare with that. Another brand that I've recently come across, which is animal testing free, is a brand called Hige. When I first saw this, like Heidi, Higgy. <laughs> but actually, in Korean, the pronunciation is Hige. Relatively new skincare brand, all white sort of packaging. So I've actually been using some of these products. I'm not like really obsessed with it because it does have a sort of standard cosmetic skincare kind of smell. But it does smell nice. It's it's nice and light and refreshing. Nothing really stands out to me like a lot yet because I'm more into like sensitive skin product kind of thing. But if you're into standard KBD products that still do a really good job but, and you don't care too much about the presence of alcohol or fragrance, then Hige is actually a brand that also is cruelty free, so keep in mind. And I love that I, they have this like open date sort of label here where you can actually write when you opened it because you have to take care of that expiry date of your skincare products, guys. It's Hige. Now for makeup, this brand is one that's new to me as well, Caradium. Caradium, 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 Caradium. I think Koreans are really creative with naming their brands. Caradium, Hige. So I chose these products from Caradium. Caradium, I don't know how to say it. These are eyeliners and I'm really interested because I love eyeliners. They're one of my favorite products. I'm really picky with eyeliners and what I think are good ones. They have to have the perfect pigmentation, a nice color that's not too reddish. The brush needs to be beautiful, smooth, and thin and retain its shape, give you a really nice look. I don't like pens because it gives you a, like a harsh kind of inked on look, whereas brushes. Anyways, that's for another video. Waterproof eyeliner pencil in black. And this one is waterproof eyeliner pen in black. Okay, very watery. I don't like watery, but first impression. The eyeliner is a little stiff, a little dry, but the color's nice. And it does have a separate sharpener at the end. It's twist up, standard for K Beauty, which I love. And the pen is, it does remind me of just like the Clio pen liner, or maybe a little mix between the Apu and Clio one has a shaky thing. I can just tell that I won't really like this that much. I'd probably use it, but I wouldn't love it that much because it's got a very watery formula and it's a pen. And therefore it's one of those things that it kind of like spreads through your wrinkles and it's not a clean cut line. Anyway, so that's Caridium. Here's the last brand that I actually have products to show you guys of. So let's open them together and have some fun, shall we? Is this Puka? Oh, it is Puka. I haven't seen Puka for a long time. Do you guys know Puka, that little character? This is what the blush packaging look like. And this is the blush. Cute. Color's nice. Oh, it's really velvety. It's really soft, not too dry. Ooh, it has a nice like gold sheen to it as well. I wasn't expecting that. That looks like Coralista, but a nicer pastel tone of Coralista. <gasps> nice. This is in number four reddish pink, guys. Number one, Coral Peach, it's super light. And number three, Baby Pink. This is also very light pastel. Ooh, it's a really nice, uh, really Korean sort of pink. <gasps> I like that one, that's so pretty. And just for your information, in case you might want to know, there are some other brands that are also animal cruelty free and I'll just read them out to you guys. There's Osum, Skin and Lab, Tiam, Beauty of Joseon, Label Young, Chumiso, and Abamart. I've never heard of that one. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found it useful. If you're new to Music Fam, welcome, because this is our first week of doing set upload dates twice a week. So until now, I've been having a bit of a life crisis, honestly. <laughs> 
I've talked all about it in my previous Heart to Hearts with my husband. I'm out of that now, I'm happy and I'm really pumped to pledge to do this twice a week. So thank you for all of your votes, guys. I've gotten your message that you prefer Tuesday, Fridays over Wednesdays, Saturdays. I thought you guys would want Wednesday, Saturdays because it's weekend uploads, but apparently not. Also follow my Instagram, guys, if you haven't already. I'm gonna be holding some K-Beauty giveaways as well as my Muse White Edition brush giveaway, which is the first time I'm doing it. So I'm really excited to do that. And if you're not gonna thumbs up for this video, at least thumbs up for animal cruelty-free K-Beauty products. It's always good to have those kind of things gaining popularity because then other brands will feel the pressure to do that too, right? It's dinner time and I'm really hungry now. So leave me some yummy food emojis down in the comment section below so I can see them and feel hungry. Um, but otherwise, have a great week. Stay beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so much. Remember how beautiful, precious, valuable, talented, and wonderful you are. Don't forget. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Kamei to bye all!